I'm in the central highlands of Dalat, surrounded by beautiful rolling green hills, a magical mist, and it's so romantic here because the weather is perfect. It's always quite chilly. Now I'm here to try the incredible, delicious street food of Dalat, but above all, I'm here to sample all the fresh herbs, vegetables, and all the wonderful, colorful flowers that are always in bloom. So the food of Dalat is a great marriage of flavors from the north, the center, and the south. Now, this is a great example. This is Hunpo Hue, but the Dalat version. And we're at Hunpo Hun. This is essential for Hunpo. Now, it's a great mixture of a corn, a dried chili, lemongrass. Lemongrass, always good English. They're going to cook this down for around three hours. So a beautiful paste, a shrimp paste, anchovy paste, Gives it really great umami. Oh my gosh, look at that. Yeah. There's beef in here. Oh, lovely color. Yeah. And the noodles are very special. Bean sprout, mint, spearmint, perilla leaf, shredded cabbage, shredded lettuce. Oh, smells so good. Now with every bowl of wooden bowl, you have to have some chili. So this chili has fish sauce in it as well. The satay, I'm gonna put extra satay in. That spiciness, the lemongrass, throw that in. A squeeze of lime goes in that bean sprout, the lettuce, the mint, the cabbage. Now, if you look here, the noodles are very, very unique. It's a round rice noodle. You see that? It's almost like a rice noodle spaghetti. Same shape, pork loaf as well, like a meat loaf. It's called jalor, and it's got congealed pig's blood. Look at this. Mmm, quite meaty, delicious, gamey flavor. Mix that all up, and it's all about the broth. Mmm. Oh, he's right. It's not as spicy. It's a lot lighter, incredibly aromatic, absolutely delicious. And bên đây, rất ngon. So good, so delicious. Bún bò bình of Đà Lạt. You have to come and try it. Mmm. Oh wow, look at that. Pork on the bone. I've got everything in this bowl. Ngon quá. Mmm. The meat is slow cooked, so incredibly tender and textural. Mmm, look at that big thing. <laughs> Dig that in there and attack it any way you can. Mmm, very good. Now, when you're in Dalat, you have to try this dish. It's ban mi siu mai, and it's lovely pork balls that's been slowly cooked in a lovely broth as well. Really crispy to get straight out of the oven. So crunchy. Some mayonnaise in there, or that butter they're using. Cucumber, coriander, lots of fresh herbs. The pickled carrot, and all the cold cuts. The jalo, salt, pepper, everything's in this thing. The wonderful meatballs in here, the siu mai which are lovely, soft textured, not too hard. And she's also got a really long piece of pork skin in there as well. Look at this deliciousness. It's a baguette with all the cold cuts. We've got pork floss in there. Now this is what I call a bun mi of the land. Mm. Mm. Wow, absolutely delicious. <laughs> wow. Now it's every chef's dream to be in Dalat because the herbs and vegetables and fruit are so fresh, so vibrant and colorful. I mean, straight from the farm. Look at that color. Beautiful green, purple color, get some of that. I think this will make for a really good, fresh canapé or starter. 20,000 dong, a dollar or so, unbelievable. Come on, go. Such a bargain, thank you. I'm here to meet fellow Australians, Lyndall Hugo and Amanda Cornelison. 
who sold their house in Brisbane and used all of their savings to set up Ola, an organic and sustainable farm in the central highlands of Vietnam. Ladies, how are you? Oh, Luke, good so to great see, to see you. you. Welcome to Ola in oh, Delap. Oh, welcome. Absolutely stunning here. So, Thank you. Ola, tell us about the name. But what it means is that if we're going to achieve this great, huge task yep. of providing clean food against, you know, the impacts of climate change, mm -hmm. we all are in this together. I love that. We are all are in it together. That's fantastic. Tell us more about what you guys do here and the, the Ola story. The objective or the mission of Ola is to provide clean, safe food. Mm -hmm. I was acutely aware of how pesticides are applied. They move in the environment. Mm. They end up in food supply chains and then they end up in bodies. In our bodies. That's right. right. Yeah. So what we wanted to do was to create food in very small spaces, but very, very intensively. What do you love about Vietnam and why did you choose Vietnam to, to pursue this project? It's very unfortunate, but Vietnam and all of the Southeast Asian countries have very, very high rates of pesticide-induced cancer yeah. because the pest pressure is so mm. huge. To actually do something meaningful and impactful and use my Australian Sydney University PhD, right? right. I wanted to come here and, I, and so I wanted to create clean food. Amazing. This vertical method, I mean, how does it all work and how is it different? So the obvious is that it's different because it's vertical. Yep. So that means we can make a lot of vegetable really fast in very small spaces. Yeah. Sustainable. The most important difference is that the inside of this pod is an Australian rock, right? And that Australian rock, that rock held thousands of times more microbes than anything else, even compost or even the best organic substances. Wow. And so that is what gives everything its disease resistance. So we've got bok choy here. You can just eat it straight from the... Yeah. <gasps> Yeah, definitely. There you go. And no pesticides. I can just eat it. Just eat it straight mm. from the farm. Oh, this is the hero. Yeah. And man, these smell amazing. Look at the vibrant colours. It's a citrus marigold. So they citrus smell marigold. a little bit different than the normal marigolds, but it's just a beautiful fragrance. Can, can I pick some? Can we yeah, pick some together? Yeah, absolutely. Okay. And look at these lovely uh, women here, part of your team. Are they from Dalat, uh, Lindell? We have a really strong ethnic minority population here. Yep. We provide clean jobs, clean employment, social insurance, etc., for all of our people. You know, our people come to work, they know that they work in a clean environment, yeah. they never are exposed to serious chemical, they don't work sitting in the fields in the mud and... Yeah, know. I mean, they're standing up, they're not like, you know, crouching over, right, in the mud all day. That's, yeah. that's really important. Linda, look at this one. Oh, stunning, beautiful, vibrant colour. I mean, can I eat this? Of course you can. No chemicals. Smells divine, no chemicals. Mm. Great. So sweet. Oh, that's the best strawberry I've had in Vietnam. That is delicious. Beautiful, look right, at that. from Australia, and I'm going to combine it with some beautiful smoked salmon roe as well from Victoria, Yarra Valley. But the hero, apart from you two, the hero <laughs> is the Orla edible flowers here. So to start off, if sure. you can squeeze around a couple of tablespoons of lime in there, mm -hmm. so come and just squeeze it. Yep. And Lindell, can you please pluck each petal nicely around there for me? Right, dice some red shallots up. I'm practically making a spicy salmon tartar. Beautiful. Yeah, just a little bit of garlic, a little bit of shallots. I've got some coriander stems I'm going to put in as well. Ladies, what do you love about living in Vietnam? Love the food. Yep. I love the culture. Yes. People are so happy and so relaxed and very friendly. And especially in Delat. Yeah, yeah, very, very friendly. so lovely. They also share uh, the Australian love of beer as well. <laughs> yes. So, so you have, do you have a lot of like after work <laughs> beers in the afternoon, like a Friday afternoon? Uh, yes. So you've been here for seven years. Are you, do you live in Dalat as well? We lived up here. We li we've moved around, so we were in Saigon. Then we went to, we came up here. And then we went back to Saigon. And then we realised that, uh, you know, Amanda's just so talented and so... Fantastic at managing the farms. Yes. And uh, we're now going through a really fantastic growth stage. Yep. So we really needed to be here. So I've got some perilla leaf here. I'm going to throw that in as well. So beautiful fragrance in there, finely sliced. A little bit of this um, 
salmon fish sauce into your bowl. I reckon only around one little tablespoon like that. So okay. throw that in there. Perfect. So let's put a dash of um, soy in as well. And I'm gonna finely slice this and we're gonna dice it. Oh, oh flowers, look at the colour. Now I know the lovely ladies here um, from the ethnic minorities from Dalat, they've learned so much from you ladies. What have you learned from them? Uh, resilience. Yep. Culture as yep. well from them. How to be happy. How to be happy, how to be content. Appreciation. Appreciation. They're so wonderful. Now, Lindell, all has won so many different amazing awards. Can you tell me more about them? We have a really big focus on climate change, adaptation and mitigation. But then there's another thing in that we realise, already the world realises that greenhouse gas or climate change is already past a tipping point. Mm. So how are we going to help these people to adapt to yeah. climate change? Now I'm going to put in some tin. Tin is basically rice powder and it's been ground up, toasted. You want to sprinkle some of that on there? Some sesame seeds? Do your little... Now I'm going to put a little bit of dressing that you made. Lime, fish sauce, dash of soy, and that sriracha chilli hot sauce. Look at that. All the Vietnamese flavours are in there. Beautiful. Okay. Amanda, let's see. Mmm! Well done, you nailed that balance. Thank you. We're going to prepare this dish for all of your team, for their hard work. We've got the nasturtium leaves, one there. Now, while you're doing that, I'm going to arrange this salmon, right, just on top of these leaves here. These are nice little, you know, one-bite canapes, right? Victorian smoked salmon. Whoa! Oh, beautiful. All right, I've even got some beautiful caviar spoons here on top of the salmon. Now the final pieces of this, I just want to put the lovely flower petals on top. Now this is why a lot of restaurants use your products, because look at it. This is fine dining. It is. Fine dining at Ola Farm. Now guys, what's the future of Ola? What's next for you? Our next evolution of the technology is growing down in the lowlands. So near the Mekong Delta. Oh wow, yeah. okay. No, that's an incredible achievement, technically. But in terms of impact, the Mekong Delta is one of the top three most impacted places in the world in terms of climate change. Incredible. Incredible. Wow, I love the story. All the team, thank you again so much for all your wonderful work for Vietnam. Let's dig into this colourful, vibrant plate. Thank you, Luke. Cheers. Yeah. Mmm. Is it good? Lovely. <laughs> Deb Kwa. <laughs> Come on. Enjoy that. Come on. Oh, your Vietnamese is very oh, good. Very good, very good. All right, let's dig in. You can just hold it like this. Perfect. Mm. Oh. There's a pop of flavour. Oh, beautiful. Oh, they're so yeah, colourful. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Such fresh and colourful produce, organically grown by incredibly inspiring people. I've had so much fun with Amanda, Lindell and their great team. At Ola, they grow pure, clean produce that not only tastes good, but is also good for the environment and the Vietnamese people. Now, right on the steps here, right in front of the Delight Market, in the Central Market, we have these wonderful ladies serving my favourite dishes of Delight. Ban Chang Nung. So, shrimp goes on. She's going to crack an egg right on top. Look at that, how fast she is. Some spring onion. She just mixes it up. Now, you can make this at home on your barbecue, on a grill, or even a non-stick pan. Oh, she's so fast. Oh, can I like koba? So, we have dried beef jerky some mayonnaise, some fried shallots as well, and some chilli. Vietnamese pizza, oh, it's going to be really nice and crispy. So she folds it up. Look at that, nicely brown on the outside. 20,000 dong, just under a dollar. Thank you, come on you. Look at that, oh, nice and hot, super crunchy. Mm. So much flavour in here from them dried shrimp, the eggs, the mayonnaise and the chilli. Really, really crispy as well. Rice paper is so versatile in Vietnam. I can use it to wrap my vegetables and meat in there. I can use it on the grill. Mmm. Ban chan nương, delicious. Oh my god. <laughs> now after I finish my snack, I'm going to have my sweet dessert, the hu nong, which is a silken tofu. Oh, come on, you. 
Oh, now look at this. This is the whole nong, which is silken tofu, all wobbly, beautiful texture, and that's served with a ginger syrup, a hot ginger syrup. Mmm. Oh, that just melts in your mouth, and it just slides down so gracefully. I can eat two cups of this. I love finishing the night, finishing the evening with a lovely dough hole. No, the lap. Oh, I love the lap. I love the weather. I love the friendly people. Absolutely delicious food. I've had a great time here. I'm always blown away with the amount of fresh produce and delectable food offerings that are available here in Dalat, with delicious Vietnamese dishes from all regions of the country. In my next episode, I'll be travelling to the beautiful southern islands of Vietnam.